Dad's Last Friends. Today we're going to be making some sugar cookies. Anna, what are the ingredients? We're going to need some shortening, eggs, baking powder, salt, baking soda, corn syrup, vanilla, sugar, and flour. Okay, so we have all the ingredients measured out. We got our big stand mixer here. You're gonna want the, whatever this attachment is. Mixer, I call that. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is add a cup and a quarter of sugar. Do you wanna put it in? Squeeze. Just a little careful. And we're gonna wanna add shortening in cup of shortening. I'm gonna get all of that in there. And we're gonna mix until it's mixed well. Can I mix it? Do you want to turn it on? Up to four or five. That's three. Probably good. Oh yeah, that looks. It's just become like a shortening, but just granulated sugar shortening. Smell that. Get all this. Oh yeah. Not bad. Next, we're gonna add in the eggs. Two eggs. Which we in here. You gonna add them in? And oh wait. Get it all. Can I grab a spatula? Yeah, use your spatula. There we go. And we're gonna add. Oh. <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a quarter cup of corn syrup. Teaspoon of vanilla, oh. which is just the cap, so. Why is it moving? Squeeze just that in. Vanilla on its own doesn't taste good. It smells really good. It doesn't taste good. It smells like vanilla, probably. Did you get it all out? Oh, careful. Here, you want me to? Oh. Wait for it on the okay. side of the bowl. And then we're going to turn it on to low again. Yeah, it's kind of a yellowish mixture. And it looks good. Wipe it on the edge of the bowl. But we can't see how it's moving. Why? Not really sure if you can see that, but it's a yellowish mixture. It looks like a feather to me right now. Cake batten. But yeah. now we're going to gradually add the flour. Can I add something? And the baking powder. So here's the baking powder. Can I add the flour? Three quarter teaspoons. And I'll get the do you want to get the salt? And this is baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add little by little three cups of flour. Pour a little bit in, not the whole thing. Oh, careful. That's good for now. And that mix. A little bit more. That's good, that's good. Can't add too much at once. <laughs> you got some of the bowl. You can add the rest.
Okay. So a few oh that's become like a good dough. I'm gonna get my spatula out. Oh, okay. Get off that there. Now we need some saran wrap. Can you grab the saran wrap from the cupboard? Okay, so it's come a thick dough, but we can touch it now with our hands and it's fine. We have to roll it to a ball and refrigerate it for an hour. So can I take it? I think so. I'll put it on the cutting board. Just take the ball. Put it on the cutting board. Okay, well, this is a lot of dough. Ooh, a lot of sugar cookies. And how are we going to That looks pretty good. For a minute, I'm just going to fold it a bit. Mix it up. I'm just going to fold it, make sure it's all mixed. Make sure we got all the flour mixed in because sometimes there's a bit of flour that sticks to the edge. Shape a rough ball. Sophia, can you put the strand up there? resting for an hour I gotta wash the dishes it's not my favorite job but make a mess you gotta clean it I set my oven to 375 degrees Celsius. That can preheat when we cut up the cookies. Um, the dough has been refrigerated for an hour. I'm gonna pull that oh, out. Okay, and those cookies. Okay. And do you guys want to choose some Christmassy cookie cutters? Sure. For like reindeers and Santa Claus and Christmas tree and stuff like that. Gingerbread man. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So now I've got the dough. It's actually pretty good to eat those. It's pretty good. Okay. okay. I'm just reaching out to the candy flour. The candy can. Just powder this a little bit. That way it doesn't have to be cut. Okay, those look good. Okay, we're just supposed to know. I'm going to roll it and we're going to cut it. I'm just going to powder my. Oopsie. There may be too much dough here. I need to do it all the What is this? Oh, it's a stand. Okay. It's rolled out pretty thin. It's about half an inch thick, but <laughs> I think that'll be fine. Okay, what Chris what cookie what what cookie cutter would you like to use first? This one. That one? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna cut out a Christmas tree. Make sure you cut it up so there's lots of room left. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I'm just gonna it there. shift it a little bit. We need to put Mr. McKinney gingerbread man. Can you know? Move around a bit. Push it in, shift them around. All right, lift up the cookie cutters. Okay, now we're gonna peel back the other dough. What's that? Careful. I'm trying to insert it in here. Here. Sophia, do you wanna move them onto the cookie sheet? Sure. Okay, so we have three trays of cookies and they bake for five to nine minutes depending on the thickness of the cookie. Some of these cookies look pretty thick compared to the other ones, but you know, we'll give it a go. I'm gonna start at five minutes. There you go, please. Thank you. And we'll be right back after these are all cooked. 
first batch is done, I had to take them out of the oven because some of them are done and some of them aren't. The thicker cookies on this tray aren't quite done yet, but the other ones are getting a little too cooked. So I just pop them out of there. They're still a little hot. Okay, we're all done now. All that's left to do is try them. So, do you want to grab a cookie? Ready? I already almost bit my lip. What do you think? Good. Here you go. Great. Think they're pretty good? Thanks for watching Gloss Farms. Bye.